Well, Apogee in a nutshell is the is like Reno, Nevada. It's the biggest little company in the world. It's a company? No one told me that. <laughs> People don't realize how actually small it is for what a big profile Apogee has. It's the highest quality audio you can get. I remember working with Bruce Springsteen in the early days and just struggling trying to get one of his records to sound good. And I remember pointing at the tape machine saying, if it wasn't for that thing, this would be so much easier. And it was just frustrating. In 1987 or 8, I purchased my first Sony digital multitrack kind of a revolutionary machine at its time with one great failing. There was a problem and we knew how to fix it. When we started, there was three of us, Bruce Jackson, Christoph Heidelberger, and myself. Now, Christoph and I had worked together at Soundcraft and I introduced him to Bruce. Christoph had some ideas and Bruce had some ideas and the main culprit was uh, a filter. Apogee came in, realised the problem, and actually created a fix that worked really well and sounded great. And it just was a complete game changer. It sounded amazing. It was always something that Apogee was doing that was very unique and not, not really done. The future was really multi-channel. In 1997, Apogee developed the 88,000. Everybody wanted one. A couple of the really big producers, they were like, you know what? I can record on a computer as long as I've got this Apogee 88,000. The 88,000, that makes it okay. Then kind of wave number two is when people started working on laptops. Then we came out with the Apogee Duet. The Duet was the most significant and popular product that we ever made, and it was revolutionary. The third wave of this is people asking, you know, why would I want to record on an iPhone or an iPad? We came out with the very first audio device that connected to the iOS iPhone uh, peripheral port, and that was Apogee Jam. And those were major products that were major milestones in this evolution that didn't exist before Apogee developed them. Apogee moved into this incredible building, which is 10,000 square feet, but there was a section left over that we were using for storage. And it said, you know, seems like a big waste of space over there. That could make a great little recording studio. One really cool thing that we do is KCRW comes around and does some of their uh, live shows here. I think we are up to over 100 concerts. Patti Smith, Nick Cave. The Shins. Back was a big one for us. Alabama Shakes was absolutely mind-boggling. They were so good. The company has a certain dynamic that you won't find in other companies. It's a small team of people that are really trying to think outside the box. For me, I mean, Apogee was and still is a, a very close-knit group of people. Yes, it's a workplace, but we're definitely all friends and almost family in, in many cases. There's an Apogee band, and you realize that half the people who work here are actually really great musicians. <laughs> I'm sure you've all seen the Christmas video. If not, you should go watch it right now and I'll wait. It's incredible the talent that's here, and it's fun. It informs what we do. It informs what we make, and you know we're we're kind of making this stuff for ourselves. Cheers. 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 Apogee. What's in there? <laughs> uh, vodka. <coughs> oh God, too much vodka. Oh, okay, some more. Cheers.